pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Dor. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think... He should put his own ham fist in his purse. Yes. You worry about the cost of such a festival. One that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own court. And Aldrich? You know my thoughts. Beware of sleep in a witch's bosom, nor let her limbs ensnare you, for she will not bring an early harvest. I, uh... bosom's that? There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a st Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone! I haven't time for your squabbling. We sure on love, Anu! 